So some of my students, beginning students, often ask me, what tense should I be writing in? And should I be writing first person or third person? Uh, for those of you who don't know, first person is when you're writing the book um, from the perspective of the character. Third person is when you're writing as a narrator, overviewing the story and telling you everything that's happening. And then you can, the tense part of it is tricky. It can be, he walked down the street, he sat on the chair, he talked to the lady. And that would be, I call it immediate past tense. Uh, but you could have present tense, which is, I find very tricky. Some people do it very well, but it's like, I'm walking, I see the girl, I eat the apple. You know, you can have actual present tense, it happening as you're writing it. Um, and it gives a totally different effect. Uh, now, what is the right way to do it? Is the question I keep getting from beginning students. There is no right way. Often I'll say this in uh, my class. The wonderful thing about writing a book is you can do it any way you want to do it. Now, what is the right way for you is the question you need to be asking. What kind of energy do you want to bring forth in the work that you're creating? Do you want it to have a very immediate effect, a very jarring effect, a, a nerve wracking effect? What is the genre of your book? Your genre, if it's a thriller, you might want to have that immediate tense to feel like as you're reading, it's really happening as it's happening and what's going to happen next. Um, but a traditional way to do it would be to write it as a narrator. So in third person and to put it in immediate past tense. She walked down the street, she talked to the baker, um, she drank her cup of coffee. So it's just happened. As you're reading, you could imagine it just happened and we're just catching up with what happened. And that would be a traditional way to write tense. Um, and generally adult fiction is by and large written in narration in third person. Um, but first person, which I love, especially as an actor, it's great to really explore a book just through the eyes of one character, I think is quite magical. So there's no wrong way to do it. It's just the way you like doing it. Now, what is your natural go-to way? I would encourage you to do lots of little exercises. Um, and that is why the first four weeks of my class is set up with you doing all these little exercises, because naturally you'll be drawn towards one particular way of writing. And because I don't ask you whether you want to write in first or third, you will naturally just go to um, your most comfortable way of writing. So in those initial exercises, it will be pretty obvious which way you like to write. So have a look at those little exercises in my class. And if you're not taking my class, do some little writing exercises, just come up with a few short stories and see naturally which way you write first. That's usually the best way for you. Um, but you can try it in other ways too. There's no rules, but I want you to feel very comfortable in your writing and I want you to feel that you're getting the best effect forward for the story you're trying to tell. And that should dictate whether you write in first, third, and what tense.